Hello everyone and welcome back to Intoxicus Flanging, but this is not a daily flange. My name's Graham, and as always I hope you remember to bring a towel, and today I hope you remember to bring your channel update towels because we're kind of updating you all on what's going on instead of having a daily flange, in part because there's going to be some format change. So let's start with the format change. Um, well actually no, I take that back. Let's start with more of the bigger picture of what's going on before we get into the details, just so we kind of follow that pattern I tend to follow. So bigger picture wise, I'm not getting the results I'm looking for and I need to change things because it's not working as well as I um, not just wanted to but need it to. Um, I do have some unfortunate financial pressures um, that um, kind of compel me to um, get things flanging at that level as quickly as I can and then once I finally get there I can kind of like relax and all that and it, it's kind of an odd point to be at and um yeah it's just chronic illness is fucking frustrating I, I wish I had the option of working at least a part-time job to help with um income and stuff but uh I just got to deal with the situation as it is although with the new gastroenterologist and all that a lot could be changing for the better kind of got to wait and see but those meds are ridiculous expensive and waiting for a special authorization so it might be a while before i actually get to that unfortunately um anyways so that that's a little bit tangential but um it does add to the bigger picture anyways so I need to get things flanging. They're not flanging as proper as they need to be. I, I, I definitely know there are some production quality issues. They have been improving, but they still need to improve further, that's for sure. But I'm realizing um, in watching some like advice um, content out there, I need to work more on stuff like branding. I need to focus on making higher quality YouTube content because that's the primary focus that's supposed to draw people towards Twitch where we discuss the YouTube content and also have discussions that help um, influence and create the YouTube content. So without those discussions really happening, it, it just it kind of stagnates everything. So I got to rethink this so I can get this flanging as I planned and envisioned. And obviously I'm not doing things um, as properly as they need to be done. So I need to step back and figure out what I need to change here. I'm not going to stop everything. I'm not going to go that far again. Um, I, I question in retrospect how helpful that's been. Um, so um, things are a little bit more interesting than that, I suppose to say, in that the valve index, unfortunately, has a defect with the left lens. Um, however, they adhere the lenses to the screens because the way it's built, or at least as I understand it, there's two screens, then a lens, so you can like see the screen in a manner that adds to the realism and all that but the lens on the left side is not really attached to the screen properly um liquid was able to get under there it looks like some small particulates have been able to get in there it's the particulates under the lens are kind of off to the side enough they're not too distracting or noticeable most of the time but i need to rma it something's wrong uh when i went with valve support and did the whole thing um at first they're kind of like you know, just doing normal support things. But once I got very specific about mentioning liquid and particulates were getting under the lens, no questions asked RMA. It almost, and when that happens, that my speculation and what it, I feel it tells me is that they know this is an issue and they're just, they're like, okay, we know this is an issue. We're just going to fix it. So they're RMAing it. That's going to take a while. And that means no VR streaming for a while. So I'm being like, well, we got some things going on with the Twitch thing and trying to get a, to affiliate where I've had so many streams under three average viewers that it's dragged the average down so much. It's going to be really hard to bring that average up. And so part of the reason I want to take a two week break is not just because of the Valve Index taking away VR streaming and making things a little bit weird, but also because I think if I take a break, it'll allow two things. One, it'll allow me to focus on YouTube content and being able to make higher quality YouTube content, which is really what needs to happen first. And um, streaming was just easier. Um, there's just less, not less to it, but less complexity to getting it flanged up. And you know, with YouTube, you gotta learn Premiere Pro and do all these other things. And you know, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just, I fucked up my prioritization and didn't quite realize what I was doing and then got kind of committed to it. Um, so I'm trying to 
break that loop or pattern, whatever you want to call it. So I'm trying to, oh, there's a cat hair on my nose. That's really irritating. Um, so I'm trying to flange it up so I can refocus on YouTube content, make that the highest quality, the yeah, highest possible quality I'm able to and push my ability to make high quality YouTube content and increase my skills at that. So, um, the, uh, some background noise distracted me. Um, so, you know, with Twitch streaming, there's some mental prep, there's some like actual prep in the stream and stuff. And just with the time it takes, it's taking too much time and energy away from YouTube content. So a large part of the taking a two week break is in a lot of ways really to focus on the YouTube content so I can bring that up to a higher level. And then also it's more of a secondary thing, but it's definitely a factor is trying to reset that average a little bit. So it's a bit easier to get to affiliate. So it's not like, you know, I do a stream with like a good amount of views and it barely bumps the average up. And I'm like, oh, well, how long is this going to take? You know, and when I started push for affiliate, I was like, oh yeah, it'll be, it'll be a week or two of this. And it's like, you know, I can't be doing this like push for affiliate shit for a month. So yeah, so I, I think, you know, it, it, I'll straight up say it is kind of gaming their system a little bit, kind of. But, you know, it's just the math of how averages work and trying to take advantage of that just to remove an obstacle I set up for myself. So, um, hopefully when I return, it'll be easier to get to that three average views, which is the only thing in our way to affiliate. We're at like 2.29, I think, average views right now. So... Give it some time, let some of those older, not so viewed streams kind of get out of that average because it's a 30 day average. So, and also with the two weeks, because I've had more viewership um, in the past couple weeks or so, if I give it, you know, roughly two weeks, the average will have more of the higher view streams than some of the lower view streams from before. So it just, it seems like it'll help get to that average a bit better. So although I just started Alien Isolation, um, so I don't really want to like stop streaming just now because I just started that game. So what I'm thinking, and it's also, um, I, I unfortunately got an old HP printer, one of the HP printers that had the DRM bullshit. So, um, it's just a scanner now. It doesn't print because even though I use legitimate ink cartridges, um, I think there's a class action about it or something. Maybe I should look into seeing if I can get 20 bucks for it or whatever, because those class actions you use don't get much from usually more about holding the company accountable but um yeah so my printer's broken because of their crappy drm that just breaks the printers um so i only have a scanner and libraries where i'd usually go to print things are not open because of covid so i think i can probably go print some stuff off at staples but then it costs money and not that much money but it's just like it's just more of a hassle to get to a staples and flange all that up and who knows, they might have their fucking in-store printing shut down because of COVID. It might be a kind of a pain in the ass to get this stuff printed out to be able to uh, send it in. So it might take me until the end of next week to actually send it in. So thinking about that, we are going to stream next week. But after next week, that's when the two-week two break will start. Um, I probably won't actually send the headset in until probably the Friday. Like, it's still playable. Um, it's annoying when you do notice them, but they're very tiny and it's the particulates under the lens. Um, they're very tiny. They're off to the side and that's the thing. They're off to the side in a way where it definitely seems like they're coming in from the side. They're not like deep in on the other side where it wasn't separating. It's just like, it's yeah. Yeah. Like you put a drop of liquid in there, which I'm not going to do obviously. And it's pretty easy to tell what's going on. Um, and it seems like it's only partly let go. Cause when the liquid did get under there initially, it only got in into limited spaces and it was able to dry out. Didn't leave any like weirdness, thankfully. Um, just the particulates are now getting under the lens, which is the issue. So, you know, it's something I can keep streaming with, but it does need to be sent in for RMA. And just on that note, defects happen, shit happens. It kind of seems like Valve knows this is a defect by the way they reacted when I got more specific. So, you know, the, if, you know, with stuff like this, I'm not mad at shit being defective. It happens. It's the nature of manufacturing. What matters is how they handle it with the RMA. And Valve Sports been pretty good about it. Um, unlike Asus's RMA process, which is a whole different fucking story. Fuck Asus's RMA process. Holy crap. 
<laughs> it's a fucking scam. And I stand by that statement. Maybe they don't intend for it to be a scam, but it fucking comes off like it. Anyways, that, that's a video for another day. I will make a video about the, my army adventures with ASUS and EVGA. EVGA is great. They were wonderful. They're, they're like exactly the opposite of ASUS. Anyways, we're not here to talk about uh, my RMA experiences, but ASUS sucks. EVGA awesome. Steam support's been pretty good about this, but uh, on that note, since we're talking about it, you know, Steam support didn't fucking say a goddamn thing about Command & Conquer not starting. But they responded right away about the Valve Index, so at least they responded right away about the Valve Index, I guess. I guess. Although the rest of their support they could maybe be a little bit better about, but, you know, at least they're being good about the expensive things, I guess. Although that needs improvement, they should be like that equally about everything and not ignore smaller things. Anyways, not, not what we're here to talk about, but worth mentioning. Um, so anyways, like, to me it makes sense, you know, if the Valve Index is gone, I need to make some changes and stuff, and, you know, refocus some things, it makes sense to me to take a break, well, m most of the time while the Valve Index is in for RMA, but, you know, it could take longer than two weeks for it to come back, so if it does, we'll just resume flat screen gaming on all the scheduled days until the Index returns from RMA, um... So that's pretty much a plan there. And so with the YouTube content, I am going to be shifting the format a little bit. We're going to return to the regular flange, but last time I did that, I didn't do it very well. Um, so I'm that's not going to happen this time. Uh, just saying that just sounds kind of weak and lame, but I don't know what else to say. I just I got to do it in action and show you guys. Obviously, it's just saying it just feels kind of empty, I have to say, um, unfortunately, but, um, so, you know, I will follow through an action, of course, because I can't fuck around anymore, um, anyways, um, so with the daily flange, temporarily, I do foresee eventually returning to the daily flange format, but I think what I need to do is increase the quality of my overall YouTube content before a daily flange type deal makes sense. Otherwise, it's just oversaturating mediocre content. So instead, I'm going to return to the regular flange style format where um, it'll be two or three regular flanges a week with quick flanges and extra flanges as needed. And because I'm new at this and I'm still learning the ropes and still getting efficient, I've gotten pretty efficient at the daily flange. That'll help me be more efficient at these other contents. Um, it'll help, it'll give me more time and space to be able to pursue the quick flange and extra flanges and also stuff like the in-game series and um, what is the other series? I'm having a brain fart. There's another series I planned. Anyways, um, I'm derping on the other series I planned. It's in my notes here anyways. Um, so... Yeah, with the series I planned that I've not really been doing much about, unfortunately, because um, I've been wrapped up in too much other shit. I've been t spending too much time on Twitch, Daily Flange, and then, you know, you know, it, I, I have to finish The Last of Us so I can do content on it and play other games so I can do content on them. And that's the thing. Part of the problem is I don't have enough time to play the games I need to play to do content on them. Um, so... Yeah, so I need to also fix my time management and make my time management skills better. Fully um, aware of that. Um, but overall, the idea is to um, change things up so I can refocus on what I've not been focusing enough on. And um, then when I return to Twitch, it should be a better flange. And then also the Twitch schedule is going to change. It'll just be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, and then no Fridays, Saturdays, or Sundays. I feel like people have too much of their own things to do over the weekend, and, you know, maybe when I'm a bigger streamer and more well-known, weekend streaming might make a bit more sense, but I think right now, um, what makes most sense is the non-weekend weekday after evening, um, maybe kind of afternoon, depending on your time zone, but my 5.30 to 8.30 local time zone stream, um, I think that works. There's the... You know, I'm I trying to catch the like people got off work. Um, uh, I, group demographic, I don't know what to call it. Um, segment, whatever. So, yeah. Um, and I'm I'm kind of waffling on maybe doing a daytime streaming time and then focusing more on content creation during the evening. And then also too, um, 
oh yeah that thought doesn't apply um i i yeah i i had a brain moment there never mind that um that that thought would only apply if i was still doing the daily flanges with the daily flange i was thinking of having it ready the evening before and then dropping it first thing in the morning and with the regular flanges i'll probably wind up doing that because it seems like that's kind of um, you know, people get ready in the morning and they watch some like YouTube newsy type things. And, um, it seems in the morning is kind of like actually people's, um, are a lot more active in social media and stuff like that too. And, you know, it's something I've noticed with myself where, you know, first thing in the morning, I'm checking to see what's new, what's shaking, and then kind of taper off during the day and maybe pick up again in the evening. So, you know, I'm trying to figure all this out. I'm going to be going deeper with stream advice stuff. Um, I might sign up for the Patreons for Ashen Christ, and I'm not sure if Alpha Gaming has one, uh, Harris Heller, uh, but I've joined their Discord, so I'm just awkward about being like, I, I, you know, I'm at a point where I'm like, I know I'm doing things wrong, but I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Can you just like watch my shit and be like, what's the obvious things to you that I'm doing wrong that like, with all respect to any of my friends watching this, um, you know, you, you guys just aren't creators. You're just not going to be able to see the things creators would see. So I, I feel like my, my, uh, what might be happening with some of my friends who I know would want to give me um, critical feedback uh, when they have it is that they just don't know. And that, that's totally fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just a perspective um, they might not have without being content creators themselves because they just won't look at it the same way as a content creator would. Um, so yeah, running up on time. I went a bit longer here than I wanted to for just a channel update. Um, but you know, that, that pretty much encompasses everything. Um, so yeah, I got to make some adjustments. I got to make some changes. I got to figure some things out still. Like it's getting close enough to a year of doing this that like, I got to get some shit going or I really got to start questioning what I'm doing here. Um, so yeah, I, I gotta buckle down, figure some shit out here and figure it out fast. Cause I pretty much got just with the way things are working out financially for me, I pretty much got two months to figure this out and then it's going to be real shitty financially if I don't get some income going from this stuff and income isn't my main focus. Um, it, it's a necessity because of my situation, but I'd be truly doing this just as a like hobbyist type thing. If I had the, um, career path I had initially um, intended before chronic illness, which I might hopefully still be able to resume, but, and even if I were to resume that previous career path of cannabis chemistry I had planned out, um, I'd still be doing this. And actually with cannabis science and chemistry, I'm hoping I can take these skills and apply them to cannabis science and chemistry and use them to turn that into what I envision cannabis science and chemistry to be. Which, um, yeah, if you're into cannabis, check out the Facebook group. Um, I started building a website and then just shit was too overwhelming at the time. And I, I got to get back to that, but I got to get, you know, all this content creation gaming stuff stabilized and flanged up and going. And uh, yeah, I already said time limit. I'm bad at this. I, I, I fucking take forever to say goodbye with people. It's like 20 fucking goodbyes before we actually fuck off. Um, so that's just a thing I got to work on in general. Um, so anyways, um, Give that quick shout out to the Patreon supporters and Valve Index GoFundMe donors. Um, so much wouldn't be possible without you guys. And also, um, it helps with motivation too. I, I got to throw out there while we're on a channel update talking about what I've been talking about. Um, it, it, it does. Um, it really helps me feel like, yeah, people care. People want to see this content. And, you know, it, it can be hard to stay motivated when... You know, you know you're doing something wrong, but then it's like, you know, you just start questioning yourself, um, you know, when you're not getting, you know, the results you wanted to get. And really, it, it, what needs to happen is I need to deal with that emotional reaction and then get logical and rational about it and figure out, okay, what do I need to do here? What do I need to change? Um, where can I get help and advice from people who are more knowledgeable that will be able to pick out things that I'm not able to see at this level. Um, so hopefully over this next month here in July, um, thing, well, actually not hopefully over this next month here in July, things will drastically improve. Things will change a lot and the content, um, quality all around will improve. Um, I am set on flanging that up. And just before I end here, so with the head crab hat and the puppets, I'm going to learn ventriloquism because I think I can make a fun gimmick out of this shit.
And okay, yeah, fuck. I was gonna keep. I was gonna just like randomly show it up. This is the only time I'll mention it. So if you listen to the, this video, you'll be. This is the only time I'm gonna speak of it of it in advance, and I'll just show up randomly later. Is the head crab's gonna become a character? Um, the head crab here, he'll become a character where it's like, oh, where where this head crab come from? And then, you know, he'll be like the asshole character. So it'll be like it'll be a way to like counter shitty opinions on the internet so we'll have the head crab voice shitty opinions in a not so shitty way so it doesn't get me in trouble but you know echo the shitty opinions so we can break them down and be like no head crab you're fucking wrong so the head crab will basically be a um an avatar of not necessarily my shadow but maybe more of a meadow shadow shadow of internet culture currently um but basically the head crab's meant to represent the shadow archetype and as meant to be like a tool to help discuss and break down fucked up shit going on. So, but I need to learn ventriloquism because it's going to be fucked up if you see my mouth moving while the head crab's talking. So it'll, it'll be interesting. And I don't think anyone on Twitch has ever done something like that, which is why I don't want to say it. So, and I don't think many people will listen to this, so I don't think my idea will get stolen. So, um going to be fucking interesting. I've always wanted to learn ventriloquism and how to throw your voice just because it's one of those things I just found interesting and could be useful someday. So, um, besides just entertainment, like, you know, I want to learn lock picking just because, who knows, you might need to pick a lock to fucking get out of some bullshit. Um, yeah, so just, there's, there's things like that I just want to learn just because I think it's useful knowledge, not because I want to, like, do anything crazy with it. And now I'm going to do something uh, crazy with the ventriloquism learning I'm going to engage in. So I hope that's a nice tease for anyone uh, watching this. Went way over time, but I figure that was, it's worth going on about that. So um, thanks for tolerating the way over time on this. Um, something like a channel update. I don't really want to go over like 15 minutes or so. Anyways, have a good one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. Always remember to bring a towel. And hopefully I'll get this intro, mu outro music as smooth as the last time.